Well, now to new allegations for Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. A new report says he's accepted more gifts from a billionaire than previously thought. Elizabeth Schulze has the latest. Good morning to you, Elizabeth. Good morning, Eva. This latest report about Justice Clarence Thomas is fueling a debate around ethics and transparency at the nation's highest court. This morning, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas is facing new allegations. He accepted luxurious vacations and gifts from wealthy individuals and didn't properly disclose them. ProPublica reports those gifts include at least 38 destination vacations, two stays at luxury resorts, 26 flights on private jets and eight on helicopters, and a dozen VIP passes to sporting events. The publication says it found no evidence the donors of the gifts had legal cases in front of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court internally definitely has ethical rules. They're voluntarily adhered to. And at the same time, they can be quite broad and also quite vague. Even if something isn't unlawful or violating an ethical code, that in fact, there is something unseemly, gross maybe even, about flying around on private jets with billionaires. ABC News has not independently verified ProPublica's latest claims, and the Supreme Court hasn't responded to requests for comment. After ProPublica revealed in April that Thomas failed to disclose high-end vacations and private jet travel paid for by billionaire Republican donor Harlan Crow, the conservative justice said it was his understanding he wasn't required to report this sort of personal hospitality from close personal friends. What you hear from folks on the left is that maybe he hasn't violated the letter of these regulations regulations, but he is certainly bringing disrepute on the Supreme Court. Other members of the court are also under scrutiny. Justice Samuel Alito defended himself after he didn't report a luxury trip to Alaska and a private jet flight. And Justice Sonia Sotomayor reportedly used taxpayer-funded staff at the Supreme Court to help sell her books. They are the most powerful judges in America, and yet they are not required to follow even the most basic ethical standards. Senate Democrats are pushing to pass a law that would require Supreme Court justices to adopt a binding code of ethics, but it faces an uphill battle in a divided Congress. All nine justices have suggested that they oppose that move. DeMarco. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.